Soumya and I'm back with another video on my channel Soumya's Book Station. I spread all the book love that I can. So if you are a book lover, do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so that every time I post a video, you get notified. I would like to begin this video with a thank you. I would like to thank my subscriber Dipanshu Suman for sending me an Amazon gift card. I've never really asked my subscribers to send me an Amazon gift card but still you were nice enough to do that and I appreciate it. Apart from that I would like to thank everybody who has ever used my Amazon affiliate links. I get a really teeny tiny commission out of it but the thing is that I really feel warm inside my heart when I see that somebody likes me enough to use my Amazon affiliate links. That means a lot. So please keep supporting me like that. Your support means the world to me. So now let's get into the video. So it's December already and it's that time of the year when I'm going to share my final TBR list or the books that I plan to read in December with you guys. So let's get into the video. The first book is All the Lives We Never Lived by Anuradha Roy. So this one was actually shortlisted for the JCB Prize for Literature 2018. Now I have read the four other books that were shortlisted out of the five and only this one is left. So it is only appropriate for me to go ahead and read this one. And I really plan to read this within 2018 itself so that my shortlist could be complete. So this is the story of Gayatri and his son Mishkin. Now Gayatri leaves India in the 1930s and she moves to Bali which was ruled by the Dutch and she leaves Mishkin behind and he comes to be known as the boy whose mother ran away with an Englishman. So why did Gayatri leave India and how it affected Mishkin's life? I think he tells us his story after he grows up. That's what I've been able to understand from the synopsis. So from the blurb, I understand that this story is going to talk about patriotism because it talks about the time when British ruled India. And also I think it's going to talk about the relationship between Mishkin and his mother and how he grew up without her. So let's see how I'm going to like this one. The next book is Satyoda Kalki Ayo Brahma by Kevin Missal. So this is the book two in the Kalki trilogy. So I'm definitely looking forward to reading this book in December because I remember reading book one that is Dharma Yodha Kalki in December 2017. So it's exactly one year later that I'll be reading this book. I had really enjoyed the first book and I hope to enjoy the second one as well because the story seemed very promising in the first one. It ended at a point where it made me look forward to the next book and now the next book is in my hands and let's see how I like it. The next book is The Complete Mouse by Art Spiegelman. So this one is a graphic novel and I decided to go for this one because it has been sitting on my bookshelf since over a year. And this is such an acclaimed graphic novel. It won the Pulitzer Prize as well. So this graphic novel is about Art Spiegelman's father as he talks about his life as a Polish Jew and as a Holocaust survivor and in this book Nazis have been depicted as cats and Jews have been depicted as mice. The next book is Anand Mutt by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee. This one has been translated from Bengali to English by Sri Aurobindo and Barindra Kumar Ghosh. So this one has been in my Kindle for quite some time now. This one has been in my Kindle since I got my Kindle because my cousin gave it to me. So as we all know that Bande Matram was first published in Anand Mutt and this story is taking place in the late 1800s in Bengal when Bengal was struck by famine and it is set in the backdrop of the Sanyasi rebellion. So Anand Mutt is considered to be a very important novel for India because it is literally synonymous with patriotism, with the freedom struggle. The next book is Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. So I had talked about this one in my previous TBR video, but I'm in the middle of reading it. So I thought why not talk about it again. So this is the story of a girl named Willow Dean, who is a plus size girl and she's quite comfortable in her skin until she starts dating a hot guy from her work and she starts feeling insecure about her looks. So to ward off her insecurity, she decides to participate in a beauty pageant and that's what the story is about. Initially, I was a bit skeptical about picking this book up because of a word used in the synopsis. A skinny girl is referred to as a twiggy girl. So I was not exactly sure if that's the correct way to go about it because body shaming is body shaming no matter which body type you're making fun of. But that particular scenario is taken care of right in the beginning of the story so I'm okay with that. That issue being taken care of I have enjoyed reading this book so far and I hope that the feeling continues to be the same till the end of the story. 
So these are the books that I plan to read in December. So I hope you guys have a great reading month in December. I hope the same for myself. I'm kind of relieved that 2018 is coming to an end. Anyway, if you want to connect with me on my social media, the links are in the description box. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.